Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at relative layout in Android. So I've got this list demo application here and I'm styling each list item with two nested linear layouts. So the, the outer horizontal one lays out the icon and the inner linear, linear, linear layout and the inner linear layout is a vertical one which lays out these two text items on top of each other. Now that's okay but it's inefficient to use nested layouts and it's probably okay with just like two linear layouts but if you've got lots of linear layouts building up a custom form or something then potentially that could get quite slow and it's often possible to replace lots of even heavily nested linear layouts with a single relative layout which is a very very powerful view group. So we'll take a look at that now and if you go to um, go to the internet and search for something like Android relative layout you'll find the documentation for it from developer.android.com and this third link here that shows me the relative layout layout parameters is particularly useful because the idea behind relative layout, which we'll see in a minute, is that you, on each of the views that it contains, you can specify parameters, and these parameters say things like align parent left, which means align the left edge of your view with the left edge of the parent container, the parent layout, or align parent top, or you can say stuff like, let's see, um, if I scroll down a bit here, well, that's a whole lot, actually. Um, you can also find here, yeah, the very useful to left of or to right of, which lays one view out to the right of the other or the left of the other. And below, you've got below as well and above. And you can specify IDs to these things. So you can say layout above this other view and give it an ID. But let's actually take a look at a practical demonstration of this and I think you'll soon start to get the idea. So I will I'll leave I'll leave this list message item.xml alone in case you want to look at it and I'll supply the source code with this tutorial video. But let's right click here and create another XML layout. So I'll go to right click and go to new Android XML file and I want a layout here and I want to base it base it on relative layout and let's call it list message item 2 so this is the second version and I'll click finish and let's look at the raw XML view of this now I'm going to go to my original version here and I'll just copy the kind of items that I previously had in my old version of the layout and I'll paste them into this relative layout here. Let's do Control shift f to format stuff. And an another thing that I want to remember actually is I just want to take the style specification here from my old layout and paste it into my new one. So let's go to list message item 2 and look for the relative layout opening tag and paste that in there. Okay, so now I can go ahead and position my views within my layout and actually I'm going to get rid completely of this inner, inner linear layout which I don't need. So let's just select this, delete it and the same for this closing linear layout tag. So now I've just got three views, image view, text view and text view within my relative layout and I want to position the icon, the image view over to the left here and I want to put the text views on top of each other to the right of the icon. So let's tackle the icon first. Let's tackle this image view. To get that to go in the right place, I'm going to say, let's type layout and use the autocomplete. And I'm going to say align parent left, meaning I want to align the left edge of this icon with the left edge of the relative layout view, the sort of container view, and I'll just set that to true. And I want to align the top edge of my icon with the top edge of the container for the item. 
so let's say align parent top and set that to true and that should be okay for the um, icon I think and I'm going to say in my text view so the top text view now we're looking at this text view here I want to say that the top edge of that should be aligned to the parent as well so let's say layout and I'll say layout align parent top set that to true so I'll align the top edge of the, that text view with the top edge of the parent so these two edges will match up and I'm going to say let's take a look layout and I want it to be to the right of so layout to the right of and here I can specify the ID of my icon so I'm going to just use the autocomplete again and go to at sign ID and when you're actually using an ID you don't want the plus you only want the plus in there if you're defining the ID for the first time so say at sign ID whoops yeah there we go and use the autocomplete again and select the ID of my icon list message icon so this ID here is the ID that I defined here and I think finally although we, it's possible we may have to tweak this a bit I want to say here let's say that uh, layout and I'll say layout to the right of again in fact I could copy where are we I could copy this to the right of because my second text item also has to be to the right of the icon even if the icon would be really small and it, it would end up being not directly to the right of it I still want to make sure that kind of the left edge of this text view which is this lower text view here is to the right of this icon even if it should be down here and the icons up there I want this to be to the right of that so I'm going to paste that in there and say lay out to the right of this message icon and I want to say that it goes below so let's say layout below and specify the ID here and I'll say that it goes below this text view here this message title so it goes below the title so all I'm doing is talking about putting one thing to the to the left of the other to the right of the other below it above it or aligning it with the edges of the parent container and that's all you do with relative view and as I say like if it still seems confusing at the moment if you just try it and try laying out a few controls you'll really quickly see how easy it is it's um, surprisingly simple so let's run this application and if I've got it right I have I've got it right first time except that actually I think I'm still using the old version so I haven't changed anything let's go to my main activity here and I'm gonna actually I need to go to my message adapter and in message adapter we select the layout to use and I'm going to change this to my second version here and let's run this and if we're lucky we will see no difference here or virtually no difference but let's take a look because it's quite easy to screw it up but usually pretty easy to fix it as well and we'll take a look and there we go you can't really see any difference okay which is good which is perfect and just to show you maybe that it is actually working I could change something like for example I could say for this top text item here I've got at the moment I'm saying where are we if I look at the second one that I implemented this relative layout for the, this text item the top text item I'm saying align it to the right of the list message icon but for example if I said instead of that something like let's just cut this and let's say let's just go control X and say layout align, uh, layout align parent right where are we align parent right and set that to true now what would happen would be this text view here the right edge of it would align to the right edge of the parent and let's just take a look and see how that looks and here we go oh it's not done quite what I expect did I say align parent left so I've got align parent right and on my text view and the parent of this text view is a relative layout 
and for some reason it's put it over to the left oh but the reason is actually that I've said that the width of this text view is match parent so the width of it is actually the entire width here and if I align the right edge to the parent there the left edge by default will align to the left edge of my parent here as well so you can see there's lots of potential for getting confused with this and this also com this always confuses me this kind of thing um, I, I have the same problem with grid bug layout in swing and if you play around with, with either of these you'll have you'll find that as well that you have to bear in mind that a component might take up more space than you can actually visually see but if you set if I set like the background on this and I'll finish this in a minute but I just really want to show you this to demonstrate it and if I set it to like uh, green or something like that then you'll see why aligned parent right didn't have quite the effect that I initially expected let's take a look and so it's on its way and there we go you see that the text view actually takes up the entire width so if you wanted to move it over to the right there you would have to set it to wrap content or something like that instead of the layout width being match parent but anyway that's that's very ugly I don't actually want that so I'll put my original code back and leave it how it was and that's it for this tutorial have fun with relative layout it's uh, it's it's really very very powerful and uh, probably what I'll do next is I'll take this code and I'll integrate it into my note scroll application and then oh, I missed something there and then we'll come back and take a look at note scroll again so until next time happy coding <laughs>